about 23 years ago, a group of eighth grade parents of boys, 13 and 14 year old, who lived in Lakewood and felt that they are not ready to send their boys out of town, sat down with Rosh Hashiva Harav David Heinemann and discussed about opening up the first high school in the area of her local boys. And finally, Baruch Hashem, it was decided that we can open a Maisit in Belmar, New Jersey for our sons. I was um, the Rosh Hashiva's Harusa for uh, many years before he started the Yeshiva. And when he started the Yeshiva, it was a big honor for me to join. My son came home and says, I'm going to Belmar, Yeshiva Kesar Torah. We heard about this relatively new Yeshiva. Belmar was close by. It sounded great. Uh, we went for it. The special thing of this yeshiva is that uh, you see the Bein Adam the Roy, the Bochum between each other, the love for each other, and also the way the Rosh Hashiva puts in this Kaychus, it's like one large family. Even starting from ninth grade, the Rosh Hashiva takes a, a personal interest in all the Talmidim, and it starts literally from day one that a Bochum builds a special Kesha with the Rosh Hashiva going through throughout his uh, tenure in the Sifta Kesha Torah. Where I met my son's friends, the yeshiva, the, the rabbis, and uh, it was uh, far beyond what I expected. And uh, I've never seen my son so happy and comfortable. It was really, uh, I felt that I've hit the jackpot by having my son in the yeshiva. The yeshiva makes sure that every bacha is happy. If a bacha is happy, if a bacha is simcha, then he could steig. If a bocha doesn't have simcha, it doesn't happen. And that Roshiva is very much, but each bocha should always be happy. The particular hands-on attention from Rosh Hashiva, and at that time, 14 years ago, was much smaller than it's today. His kesher with, with Talmidim, when my son used to come from Shabbos, and the only thing he spoke about the Rosh Hashiva, and whether what Torah he said, and he was there for Shabbos, or he was there for a meal, or f they had a meal in Yeshiva, and the Yeshiva was there for Shabbos. Uh, it's like, uh, you know, he was practically in love with the whole environment that he was in. And uh, that's why I believe they excel more than other Yeshivas. Um, due to the fact that the Rosh Hashiva is so on top of it on a daily basis and uh, every, every Talmud is not a Talmud but it's a kid of his Rosh Hashiva. Each Bachar is, is their own world and the Rosh Hashiva recognizes that and treats each Bachar the way they need to be, what, what they need to make them shine and to grow. And that's truly, I think, the success behind the Siftek Esoterra and why, what makes it such a special place. They're coming in from a uh, elementary school, and uh, you see them excel. And each year, you could see it by the time from when they come in. To, usually, they go to Bachem, end up going to uh, it's a Sroll, and you see the finished product. It's an unbelievable difference, and uh, you feel it. You know, as, as being uh, a rabbi there, it's an unbelievable hanor that you have from when you see the Bochum coming in to when they go out, the difference that they have acquired. It was more than just sitting down and learning and teaching us a mahalach and, uh, and learning. It was a mahalach chayim and how to, every day to go about your life and how to, to bring out the best in you and what you can become. There's so many lessons that you learn throughout the, watching the Rosh Hashiva and watching the Rabbeim and how they feel. It's just, it's, it's lessons for life. Ten years into the marriage and his cash is still very strong, you're very much there. and. Uh, He's still until now he was sitting and learning uh, in Koilu, and that is definitely 100% uh, Dashpua from the Shishiva and the way uh, he spent those years that he was in Belmar that carried him through the following years. The Shiva just wants to sit and learn, be a Balmidas, and be normal. And these three things are the main things that the Shiva stresses in the Bacharam. And therefore, I believe when they get out, that's what they have. They have Torah, they have to be normal, and there's no pressure on them. 
and therefore when they come back from Nesasrol, they're from the mosque Shmaks the Bafaram. Chaver from our from our Shia that were involved in in all different kinds of Tzolchei Tzibur, their Rabbeim, their are sitting and learning Talmidei Chachamim, and they have all children, and it's just their kids are in Yeshiva already, and just to have a Chelik in that and to be Mishtata from that is a tremendous thing. It's something where 20 years ago, to even think of what you could have been a partner to and something you could have been had a chalik of, it's, it's almost it's mind-boggling. So now, here's an opportunity to partner up with the yeshiva and to, 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 to invest in these bachram and to, to help lay their foundation. What, what could become in 20 years is Ayim is, is I would uh, very highly recommend it. And it's very possible that my grandchildren will will end up in Belmar, if it's up to me.